Hey everyone, it's Justin with Number Crunch Nerd. So in this video, we're going to troubleshoot common problems with the sum if formula in Excel. And what's one of the most common problems? It's that the sum if formula isn't capturing all of the data that you want, or doesn't seem to be capturing all the data. And how can you troubleshoot that? How can you find what's missing and how can you fix it? That's what we're gonna go over. If you're looking for just a basic tutorial on how to use the sum if function at all, there's a link to that below this video. You can go start with that tutorial. This is, we've already set it up, but now we're encountering some problems. And here's what you're gonna see. Here's our raw data set, okay? In this case, it's just a, a product sales list. So we have the products being sold and we have the amounts that they're being sold for. And we're trying to apply the sum if formula to this column, essentially. So let's run through what we got. Here's the sum if formula and it says, Search column B, that's the first criteria in the formula, the range. Search this range for, the second criteria is this item right here, this word, this phrase. Search this range for this word. And then the third criteria is sum up everything in this range. Okay, so search for the, search for the word in here. And if you find it, sum up the numbers in this column. So we've set it up. It looks like it's, we're applying it correctly. We've checked each one. The cells are, are referencing the appropriate product. Everything seems like it's set up right. And yet when we total this up, we get 76,136. And when we compare that to the grand total at the bottom of the raw data, remember one of the first things you're supposed to do for completeness is to sum up the raw data just itself before you do anything. So in this case, the raw data is summing up to 77,151, okay? But when we apply the sum if formula, we're only getting 76,136. And so we have a difference here. This is this number in my summary area, less the number at the bottom of the uh, raw data, okay? So the raw data has $1,014 more in here somewhere than is being captured in my, in my summary. So the question is, how do we find that and how do we fix it? So here's the two common reasons why this could be happening. There may be a mismatch between the raw data and the summary criteria, and that mismatch is often caused by extra or missing spaces before or after the words. And so these are things you can't really see with the naked eye. So the question is, how are we going to find these problems? And the second possibility is that data is just missing from the raw data set. For example, let's just say that the raw data set was missing this number. I'm just gonna take it out. Maybe you saw that this number just changed, right? It, let me put it back. This was 76,136. If there happens to be a value missing here, then now this is only 75,923 because the sum if formula isn't looking for a blank space. It's looking for this. So if there happens to be one missing or whatever, then it won't capture this number. So that's one possibility. But more likely, more likely than that is you have a mismatch caused by spaces. And that's what we're gonna really work on today because you may, have, you may be experiencing exactly this. So here's what we're gonna do. Here's the solution. We're gonna scrub the raw data using the remove duplicates function. And then we're going to uh, make some adjustments based on that as necessary. Okay, so the first thing you do is Highlight the column with the words in it, with the criteria, okay? I'm gonna hit Control C, I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna just go over here to a blank column and I'm going to paste that in. And I'm also going to delete this and I'm going to uh, get rid of this because I'm not searching for that. I'm only searching for these product names. In this case, just one, two, three, four, but they could be any product names, all right. Now that I have all of the data over here in a column, I'm just gonna highlight the whole column. I'm gonna go to the data tab right here at the top. I'm gonna go over to remove duplicates and I'm gonna click that and I'm gonna, it's gonna ask you what column you want to remove the duplicates on. In this case, we only have one column. So I'm gonna select that, hit okay. Now look at this, it says we have, there were 359 duplicate values found and removed but there are nine unique values that remain. And note that uh, empty cells, spaces, et cetera, could count 
as a unique value. And that's where the problem is, okay? So think about this. I have nine unique values remaining. But if I go over here, back over here real quick to my summary data, I only have four different values here. Okay, so if, I'm only, if I only believe there's four different values in this list, and yet it's returned nine unique values, then I must have some problems. So let's go back and see what we can figure out. Okay, the first thing to remember is that it will count a blank space as one of the unique values. So it said we had nine. If I add these up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, there's only eight here. That means it's counting a blank space. Okay, it's either counting a blank space in this column or it's potentially counting a blank space from the source data column. You have to just keep that in mind. It's possible there's a blank space, okay? But let's look at these values and see what's going on here, okay? Here's the first one. Let me, let me zoom in on this so you can really, so you can really see what I'm, what I'm looking at right here. I'm gonna just zoom all the way in. Look at this one. I'm gonna double click right here. See where the cursor is? There's no space in between the one and the cursor, okay? But let's check this one. On product two, look at that. There's a space between the two and the cursor. If I just double click on the cell, that means there's a, there's a blank space in here that Excel is, use, is, is considering that a unique value, okay? If I click on product three, there's no space. If I click on product four, there's no space. Look at this one. This one, there's a there's no there's a missing there's a, a missing space in between the word and the number. This is a problem. This is Excel is going to consider that to be a unique value. Okay. What about this one? This one has no space after the two, but this one up here, it did have a space. That's going to be considered two unique values by Excel. Okay, this one has a space after the three, this one doesn't. This one does not have a space after the one, and neither does that one, but look at this, this word is spelled wrong. This is spelled product with an A instead of an O, so that's a unique value, okay? That could be from human error, typing in the data. There's all kinds of reasons. So that's why we. there's all these different possibilities in what's going wrong and, and unique values and that's why the data is not being captured okay you have a problem with spaces and you also have a problem with a misspelling right here okay now if we go over here how are we going to fix this all right well if we go over here and we look at these four i'm going to copy these control c and i'm going to go back over here to what we're looking at I'm going to just paste these into a, into a blank column. All right, in the summary area, I have a one with no space. I have a two, product two, with a space after the two. Three is no space. Four is no space, okay? So this data set and my summary criteria is not set up perfectly, is it? I have a discrepancy here. No space after the one, a space after the two, no space and no space after the three and the four. So if I can fix my list to, uh, to appropriately reflect this, then I would be able to fix the problem. Okay, but the list might be very long. Okay, you may not be able to actually go through and find all of these. So what you can do is you can take all of these unique values right here, okay? And you can take these back over to our summary area. And we're going to make a new summary, okay? We're going to make it we're going to make a new summary down here. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to I'm going to I'm going to zoom out just a little bit so you can see the full the full thing. All right, so here, I'm going to do sum if my range is what? My range is the column with the words in it. That's what I'm searching. I'm going to put a comma. I'm searching for this value right here, this word. I'm going to put a comma. And my sum range is going to be this right here. Close parenthesis. All right, then I'm going to drag this down to all of the different words. I'm going to 
make this look, the formatting look nice. Okay, so you can see that it, most of the words are set up like this. And that's where most of the value lies. But there happens to be $311 sitting in product one where there's no space in between the T and the one. There's $214 sitting in product two where there happens to be no space typed after the, the two. There's $139 in product three where there's no space typed after the three. Whereas up here in this one, let's see, there's no space there. Ah, there is a space. There is a space in this one right here. And then there's $350 in the one that was misspelled. Okay? So there's two possibilities. First, you could go through this raw data set and you could adjust out these four and fix them so that they reflect this. And if you did that, then these values would go to zero and they would be included in here. By the way, let's just sum this up and make sure that we're capturing everything now. 77,151, right? Let's take that, let's, sub let's subtract off, go all the way to the bottom of the data set. There it is, 77,151. So we have no discrepancy now, okay? We have captured all of the data. So he the issues are these spacing problems, and in one case, a misspelling in the raw data. Okay, so there's two possibilities. You go through this manually and you fix these, all right? The other possibility is that after you capture all the data here, before you make your final summary for presentation purposes, whether this is for a class or for a job or for whatever, just go like this. Just take these four, like this, copy that, control C, come down here, paste that right here, and then in this cell, all you got to do is just take, we know this is product one, and I'm going to add this product one, which is uh, which has a mis missing space in between here. And I'm also going to add in this product one, which has a misspelling in it. Okay. And then for product two, I'm just going to add this to this one, like that. For product three, I'm going to add this plus this one right here. And then for product four, there doesn't appear to be any discrepancy. So product four is actually correct already, but I'm just gonna go ahead and link it to this table so it's consistent. And then if we sum this up, there's our 77,151. And then this table is ready for presentation because this number matches the raw data. So that's how you use the remove duplicates function to scrub the data and figure out where you have these weird discrepancies that are caused by a space missing or an extra space or um, a misspelling of a word or something in the raw data. And that's how you can troubleshoot and fix missing values from here to get them into a nice summary table where the grand total matches the raw data.